This is the one, or that one? This one. Yeah. Yeah, three, four years ago we were here. Uh, hey, the Rudy Kazooty drum is still here. Number one. Wow. That's real nice, right? Yeah. And number two. I remember this from the show. Here. Whoosh. That's a real good one, see? Look at that. All right. And here's Early some, licensing. And here's some junk. Huh. This will be great on this one. You see? It's falling apart, but you put it away right away. You got, yeah. You got a bag or something? Yeah. It's in some way. All of this. Look. Oh, you see? Yeah. Whoops. You can send, when you send letters to people, grams. The Rudy Kazuni gram. Oh, yeah, that was the Rudy Kazuni gram. Wow. Wow, and they would go on oh, certain yeah. adventures. Yeah, it's model. And they model. would cut to slides in the studio. This is all the artwork. Originally, this was all filled with films. We got that to the museum. And here. Yeah, it's puppets. Oh, for crying out loud. Am I happy about that? Uh, I think you're missing a set. You served them, remember? Yeah, you did. You, did. you didn't give it to the museum guy. No, I didn't. He insisted he wanted them. He wanted them? No, there's another set of puppets. Someplace, yeah. Yeah. Well. Interesting. Yeah, this needs major work. But at least you have something. Yeah. Yeah, you, you have a way to do it. Oh, absolutely. Let's get this out first. Uh, here are the golden books. The golden yeah. set. Right. Yeah. He's a baby. There he is, Galapucci pup number right. two. Oh, good, thank God. Oh, we got two rubies. No, I don't think he did that. If he did, oh, I'm no, calling him mad as hell. No, 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 he didn't. This he, be try, he tried, remember? What? He, yeah. he tried. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah. Oh, but, we're in good shape. These are neat. They need a lot of work, but we have yeah, two but of these. No we one. have three rubies and two that, that's, uh, polka, polka dotty. You, now, I know you've got uh, Sire, uh, uh, the villain, and all He, he might be in, oh, look at this. These are all the buttons that were sent to the kids. And you have a lot of masks. Yeah. This is uh, photographs from Rudy. Come on. Look at this. Beautiful quality. What the and the sets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can see for yourself, is that? Yeah. Looks like one of the sponsors. Yeah. Oh, this is great. That's Mr. Beetle. Doodle doodle. Yeah. Who's that? Is that, uh... Oh, that's, uh, a, uh, one of the guys who was working, working for him, with me. Director, producer? Yeah, not quite that. Uh, uh, an associate producer, you see. Uh, this is the chief, uh, a host. Yeah, this is oh, look at all the fan mail. Yeah. Well, you can see what's possible here. Oh, I, I've never seen this part of this, you know, you, see, you get to see the full set. And there's a chef. Well, you have pictures of that. I got Paul Ashley one. must be one of them. Yeah, he's gone, isn't he? Yeah. Chuck McCann has a set of puppets. Oh. He got the from, the, he got from uh, Paul Ashley's archives. Well. Because I want to get in touch with him. Well, you can see this is great. what you can do with this. Yeah. The cards they used to cut to for the gags. Oh, that's... Uh, Todd Russell. Todd Russell. Coca-Cola. I like oh, that. Good. You want Coca oh, as a Great. This is an ad from Burrell's for toys. So you got to have one of the Rudy's on. Here's, here's the Rudy drum. 98 cents. 98 cents? Yeah. Is this the stationary or is it something else? All stationary. Well, I don't hurt anything. What year? What year is this? 
Tempo Magazine, third annual TV award, the $64,000 question, 1956. Here's the costume when he was a conductor in Rudy's hat. And here's Poké Dirty's little outfit. Uh, outfit. Rudy's outfit? Yeah. Batteries. Okay. He wanted everything for the exhibit.
that it's your responsible for Mr. Deedle Doodle acting like a reindeer and making all that rain come. What, what did she mean by that? Oh, well, you better ask Rudy Kazuni. Maybe he'll tell you. I have no time to know anything, boys and Zuma, because here's Galabucci Bump. <laughs> Barking Poochie Rudy, is that so Poochie? Oh, boy, look at the wig he's got on. What's the idea of this? Oh, he wants me to read him a story about a girl, Big Don. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, boy, I want to hear this. Go ahead, Rudy. Okay. Way down in Kazooie Land lived a girl puppy whose name was Mary Pup. <laughs> now Mary Pup was a very contrary pup. <laughs> At night, when it was time to go to sleep, Mary Pup would dance and dance and dance. <laughs> and in the morning, when it was time to get up, Mary Pup would snore and snore and snore. She was such a contrary pup that she would get a can of tomato soup and she would pour it into all the inkwell, making it impossible to write a letter. <laughs> and when she had nothing else to do, she turned the house upside down. <laughs> yes, sir, Rudy, Mary Pup sure was a contrary pup. <laughs> One day, a good fairy visited Mary Pup. Mary Pup said the good fairy, I built a special house for you. It's an upside down house, and you love it. See? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mary Pup was very pleased. An upside down house was just what a contrary pup would like. Well, no sooner had Mary Pup moved in when a coal truck drove up, ready to pour coal into the cellar. <laughs> now, in this upside down house, the cellar was where the roof should be. And that's where the truck dumped its coal. Huh? And down came the coal right through the house, dumped it all over Mary Pup. <laughs> well, Mary Pup was very annoyed, and she decided to write the good fairy a letter. Yes, sir, Rudy, she was going to write a letter to the good fairy. But when she dipped the pen into an inkwell, she found that it was impossible to write a letter. Because <laughs> all the inkwells in that upside-down house were filled with tomato soup. <laughs> and then she realized why the good fairy gave her the house in the first place. <laughs> that upside down house taught Mary Pup a lesson, because it did all the things to her that she had done to others. And from then on, she behaved herself. When it was time to go to sleep, she went to bed. And when it was time to get up, she got up at once. <laughs> Mary Pup was no longer a contrary pup. Uh, uh. So, Poochie, the moral of the story is, if you're the kind that misbehaves, just stop and think it through. How would you feel if someone else would misbehave towards you? Thank you, Poochie Kazuni, for that wonderful tale of the magic. Oh, you're welcome. You know, Rude, I was just thinking, well, you know, life has certainly been exciting ever since we got that lucky spot ring. Oh, yes, sir, Rudy, Big Todd. Things really happen when you're wearing a lucky spot oh, ring. Oh, I'll say. Listen, why don't we show the Rooters what the ring looks like, Root, and, then all, and all the fun they can have with it, you know? All right, Rudy. Rooters, just look. Now, here's the lucky spot ring that you could have for your very own. Isn't that a beauty? It's made of gleaming metal, and it shines like real gold. Yeah, and it's adjustable, too, you know. See, that means the ring will fit any finger. And around the outside edge, it says, Rudy Kazooty's Lucky Spot. And right in the center is the lucky spot itself, just like the lucky spot on Gallipucci Pup's ear. Yeah, and there's something special about that lucky spot, too. Now, watch this scene. When you slip a piece of paper under it and you press down hard, it makes a lucky spot right on the paper. You get your lucky spot ring with powerhouse wrappers, and you know that means double fun. First of all, you have fun eating delicious powerhouse candy bars because with every bite, you get four candy treats at once. Creamy fudge, crunchy peanuts, and chewy caramel, all covered with thick milk chocolate. Then you use the powerhouse wrappers to get the ring. Yeah, and you get your lucky spot ring for only two powerhouse wrappers and 15 cents. Now, here's what you do. You send 15 cents in coin, two powerhouse candy bar wrappers, and your name and address. Mail to Powerhouse, Box 8047, Market Station, Los Angeles, California. Then you'll get your very own lucky spot ring in just about two weeks. Remember, Powerhouse, Box 8047, Market Station, Los Angeles, California. <laughs> and now, you boys and girls, what do you think it is? It's question answer time.
time for you. The Gallapucci quiz. <laughs> yes, the Rudy Rooters, if a contestant answers correctly, Poochie says. <laughs> but if a contestant gives the wrong answer, then Poochie says.
on you, same as the needle doodle he walks in. Look at that, he brought the rain. Collecting like a reindeer and oh. bringing the rain. Yeah. Oh, my cool. clothes that I hung up to dry, they're getting soaked. I'd better get them out of here. Goodbye. Yeah, well, Boy, if this rain keeps up, they'll have to hang me up to dry yeah, sometime. Yeah, me too, Mr. Needle Doodle. You can't stay here. It's wet. Everybody's slushy. Oh, you have to go, Mr. Needle Doodle. Needle -Doodle. You're no reindeer. You're a policeman. Yeah. You're not... Oh, he doesn't even believe me. Now, see well, that. if you don't believe you're a policeman, you'll just have to go away. You can't stay here believing you're a reindeer no, and bringing no. all that rain. Bye, Mr. Needle Doodle. Bye. Sorry, Mr. Needle Doodle. You have to leave, Mr. Needle Doodle. Oh, boy, look at that, Ruth. Bye.
what do you know about the root? That is wonderful. Oh, thanks for rooting. I thought we could do it. I thought it was a pretty good idea. Oh, no, I'm for rooting. Oh, what happened? Oh, the, Mr. Needle Doodle's hat fell back on it. There's the rain again, too. What is this? Oh, Ruth, I guess I didn't turn the world upside down long enough. Oh, but we'll turn it upside down again, Root. We, we can't right now, Big Todd, Mr. Needle Doodle. You'd better go and come back later. Because right now we're all going to say. Powerhouse candy bars are the best tasting candy bars you uh -oh, ever uh -oh. ate. Oh, wait a minute, Big Don. There's the signal that means the next batch of rings in the ring of a gin is just about ready. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Oh, boy, this will be wonderful. The ring of a gin. Boy, you know I'm going to have lucky spot rings for all the rulers. Yeah, then. Listen, Ruth, anything I can do to help you? Oh, sure. Uh, please give it a shake and see if they're ready. All right, let's see. Yeah, yeah, oh, it sounds good. Now, make three turns with the ring of a gin hand. Just three turns, huh? Yeah, three. One. Two, three. three. There we now, go. Now, hold your hands under the door and open the door in there. All right. Let me see what that is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at those lucky spot rings. Isn't that sensational? Could I have one of these rings? Oh, sure. And all you rooters watching can, too. Just send in. Boy, I want to tell you something. This lucky spot ring, that it is really terrific. You see, rooters, it's made of bright, gleaming metal that shines just like gold. And right around the edge, it says, Rudy Kazuti. Lucky spot. And here's the special part. See, you can actually make the lucky spot appear on any piece of paper. Just slip the paper into the ring, press down on the lucky spot, and zing a Rudy, the lucky spot is pressed right into the paper. Just think of all the swell ways you can use your lucky spot ring, Rooters. You can use it as your secret signature. Then only your friends in on the secret can tell who's sending the message. Or you can make it a secret signal to warn of danger or to call a meeting. Yeah, you can put the lucky spot on things, you see, to prove that they're yours. You know, like books or papers, see? And don't forget, that lucky spot proves you are a Rudy Kazooty Rooter, too. So, Rooters, don't wait another minute. Send for your lucky spot ring right away. And now, here's how easy it is to get. Just have the fun of eating the most delicious candy bar you ever been into. Powerhouse. Get yourself two of these swell-tasting candy bars. Enjoy every last bite of the smooth fudge, caramel, peanuts, and chocolate in each one. Then take the two wrappers from those Powerhouse candy bars and 15 cents in coin and put them in an envelope along with your name and address. That's two Powerhouse wrappers and 15 cents in coin. Send that to Powerhouse, Box 8047, Market Station, Los Angeles, California. And then Rudy will send your own lucky spot ring in just about two weeks. Remember now, that's Powerhouse, Box 8047, Market Station, Los Angeles, California. Send for your lucky spot ring today. Rise Rudy die. And now, a prize for every Rudy Kazooty whiz who answered all those questions on the Gallup. Yes, sir, it's prize time. There's Mr. Needle Doodle. And it's great time, too. Here's the magic wand, and here's the first contestant coming back again. And your quiz Rudy partner is Janice Lynn Harrison of Tacoma, Washington. I'll say, which balloon are we going to break? Any one of them. Wow, we, that one right there, she said. Let's see what we have for you and your quiz Rudy partner. First of all, a box of delicious powerhouse candy bars, plus an RCA Victor 45 automatic phonograph. That's the kind of place, ten records with just the press of a button, you know. And to start out your record collection, an RCA Mighty Mouse record right yes, there. Yes, old Mighty Todd Reckle. Well, sure, congratulations, <laughs> and uh, you're very welcome, sweetie. And here's the next contestant, three balloons left. And your quiz Rudy partner is Thomas McNerney, Jr. of Norfolk, Virginia. Which balloon is it going to be? That one right there, he said. Let's see now, for you and your quiz Rudy partner, first, a box of delicious powerhouse candy bars... Plus, a 15-volume set of the Britannica Junior, published by the same people who make the grown-up Encyclopedia Britannica. Every question you might ask will be answered by that Britannica Junior. Congratulations to you. And here's the last contestant back with two balloons. And your quiz Rudy partner is Vicki Ann Malsum of Des Moines, Iowa. Which will it be? Which one? That one right oh. over there, he says. Let's see now. For you like and it. your quiz of Rudy partner, first of all, a box of delicious powerhouse candy bars and a genuine Schwinn Hornet bicycle. 
Boy, that's got everything. Includes a tank, an electric horn, and a headlight. That's the shiny bright Schwinn, America's favorite bike. Congratulations to you, too. And how about a great big root and kazoot and cheer for all of those prize winners? Right there. <laughs> and now, everybody, listen. Ladies and and he's already picked three rooters who live near the studio and will be contestants next week. Read their names, Big Todd. Well, we have Ann Kornbluck of Brooklyn, New York, Arlene Stawinski of Maspeth, Long Island, and Randy Thummel of Upper Montclair, New Jersey. And now Poochie's picked three rooters who live far away and will be quiz rooting partners next week. Read their names, Big Todd. Bruce Brody, Culver City, California, Archie Smith of Dalton, Georgia, and Marilyn Warren of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Rooters, when you send in two powerhouse rappers and 15 cents in coin for my lucky spot ring, those very same rappers make you eligible for prizes on the Gallipucci quiz. Only rappers sent in for my lucky spot ring are used. So send in today to Powerhouse, Box 8047, Market Station, Los Angeles, California. You'll get my lucky ring for sure, and maybe you'll also win a two-wheel bike. <laughs>